Hey guys, John here. Today's patch is going to be made in Harmer, and this one is called Pipes of Blasphemy, and the inspiration behind this is that kind of Dracula guy with a big coat, or then the coat thing on his neck, whatever you call that thing, and he's just kind of playing the pipe organs all crazy-like in the darkness, so yeah, so that's what this uh, was inspired from. Alright, if you like the patch, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's dive into this bad boy and see how it was created. So first thing here, we're just going to be using part A for this one, so forget about part P, throw that part of your mind away. We're going to be using a saw wave and the random all the way to the right at 100% running. Now we're going to be diving this down by two octaves, so this division here should be four, so drag that up from one and then drag it all the way up to four to lower the pitch here. The unison is going to be order of seven, the pan all the way to the top, the pitch is going to be 50%, and the phase right here is going to be all the way to the top, so unlocking that kind of hidden feature that gives you that, that little type of grainy, sandpaper-ish type of sound. Now, an interesting part here, on the filter, this is going to be a custom shape here. So if you drop down on this menu here and go over to filter shape one, this is kind of the filter shape that I keyed in for this one. And it kind of came out pretty cool sounding. So uh, yeah, that's kind of the shape. Maybe take a screenshot or pause the video and maybe you want to recreate that. But as always, this patch is available for free. So if you don't want to dive into this graph and create the filter yourself, you can always download the patch and load it up yourself. So moving on from that, we have Sledge Hat for the resonance, and this resonance is going to be at 26%. And the other key aspect of this patch here is going to be the harmonizer. So this amount is going to be all the way at 100%, the width also at 100%, and the strength at a healthy 64%. And these should be default here, 1 times 2 and then 1 times 2, so that shouldn't change for you if you're uh, following along in this patch. And then one of the last things we have for this one is going to be a phaser on cascade on the octave switch over here. Mix amount 18%, the width 50, the offset 180, mostly default here. 32 for the speed and keyboard tracking all the way up at noon, so no change over there. For the effects over here, I did try some different types of distortion, but I didn't really like how it sounded. So all of these ones are going to be off, but we are going to be using a little bit of compression on warming. And this is kind of just boosting the lows and the highs just a tiny, tiny bit. It's kind of like that whole joke where, you know, you have a guitarist turn up an EQ and he uses his, his pinky and his and his, four, and his pointer, pointer finger. So it kind of looks like a smiley face. That's kind of the uh, EQ curve we're kind of doing here on the compressor. So with that being said, for the effects here, we have nothing on the insert uh, the insert itself, but we do have a lot of reverb here, and the kind of selling point for this is a very big reverb here. So we have about four seconds of decay time here, so yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty heavy there in that sense. You can also cut the low end stuff here. I didn't do this, maybe I just kind of looked it over, but you can, it's always generally a good idea to maybe bring this up to maybe 200 or 300 to cut some of that low end reverberation out of your signal. So that's pretty much how this patch was made in a nutshell, not too complicated, but one of the core concepts to dive, to uh, to knock home, I guess, is the custom shape, maybe play around with that, because that's a very cool feature. You can make really cool shapes yourself if you want to kind of spend some time in harm or make some wacky shapes. That's where to do it. And then the really creme de la creme or the main characteristic of this sound is going to be in the harmonizer. So don't overlook this module here. It's actually very, very cool if you spend some time with it. You can make some really cool sounds with that. And then also keep in mind in the advanced tab here, you can always change how you want things to be ordered, I guess, what, what you're saying. So for this example here, the harmonizer is happening first and then it's getting filtered. So you can always change the harmonizer to hap happen after the filter. You can get some really cool low end type of sounds and really cut those high end stuff off and then have the harmonizer come after that and then add some extra harmonics to your signal. So that's kind of a cool concept to drive home if you didn't already know about that. So I thought I'd mention that because when you're working with different modules, especially something like harmonizer that adds different things to your signal, it might be good to know that, that you can change the order of how that is happening in your patch there so yeah so hopefully you learned something if you'd like to get this patch like i said it's available in the video description below just click it download it and uh yeah you too can be playing on your pipes of blasphemy and angering the lord with your epic music so that's pretty much it let's play us out with pipes of blasphemy and thanks for watching
See you in the next one.